Now, not everybody wants to admit this, but we've all looked in our refrigerator and maybe found something spoiled or green or moldy in the back. Well, how about reaching into your coat pocket and finding an old hamburger that's 14 years old? It really happened to a man in southern Utah. Lad Egan, live in St. George, with more on this amazing preservation story. And uh, let's start with the first basic question. Why was this hamburger in the guy's coat pocket? You mean everybody doesn't keep hamburgers in their coat pockets, Mark? <laughs> well, this guy did, and it was just because he was out doing a presentation selling a dietary supplement, and then he, when he was done, he wrapped the hamburger back up in its wrapper and in the bag and put it in its pocket, and that's where it stayed for a good long time. July 7th, 1999. 1999. The budget is balanced. Bill Clinton was president. Jeannie in a bottle was number one. And the looming Y2K disaster had the world worried. It's also the year this hamburger was born on a grill in Logan, Utah. I bought it for 79 cents. David Whipple kept the burger around for a few weeks as a prop to sell diet supplements. I mean, it looked as good a month out as it did the day I bought it. He soon forgot about it, wrapped up. Right there. And stuffed away in this coat pocket. The family, with Burger tagging along, moved to St. George, where the coat sat in this closet for years. Oh, I thought there'd be some mold. Until one day, Whipple's wife checked the pocket and couldn't believe it. No fungus, no mold, no smell. Besides the pickle, oh, color looks great. It looked the same. It freaks people out. They absolutely can't believe it looks that good. They put it on eBay once. It went up to something like two thousand dollars. <laughs> But decided not to sell. Good morning, campers! Even when a radio station offered 5000 They wanted to buy it, have a disc jockey microwave it, and then eat it at some kind of promotion they were going to do. Where do you keep a 14 year old hamburger safe and sound? Inside a Big Mac tin, of course. Good thing you keep it in a little sarcophagus because you got the King Tut of, of hamburgers here. To find out what's behind the hamburger that just won't die, this is a mummified hamburger. We asked executive chef Paulo Blazer at Dixie State University. It dried so fast that there was no way that the bacteria or mold could grow into it and make it nasty. With the mystery solved, we still wanted a little fun at the campus cafeteria. Burger. Diners had a hard time guessing its age. Maybe like, how does it look 14 years old? About a week or so. A month old. But had no problem Ew. expressing their disgust. Ugh. That's so wrong. No thanks. That's just too nasty. Like, why would you keep that? We don't know what's going to happen to this thing. Whipple says he's not getting rid of the perfectly mummified King Tut burger anytime soon. Maybe I'll take it on vacations and... <laughs> Travel around the world, showing it off to everybody. Whipple says he has no plans to sell or eat, of course, that 14-year-old hamburger. And you know, Mark, we've been here tonight grilling hamburgers for dinner, and uh, we've enjoyed them. I'm still going to eat hamburgers, but I have no inclination to put this hamburger in my pocket and let it hide there for a good long time. Back to you. <laughs> All right, Lad, thank you very much. Well, Sterling's got.